Well, hello everybody and welcome to Vinyl Treasures. I'm your host, Johnny G. John Glendale, coming to you live each and every Saturday only here on Top Shelf Holies. want to welcome you to the November 2nd, 2019 Vinyl Treasures show. Johnny G. running a little bit late. Had a little dinner date with a Barbara for her birthday, but I'm back here to spin original vinyl 45s out of the 1950s and early 60s for the next two hours. Got a lot of requests tonight, a lot of B-sides from a couple of weeks ago. We opened up tonight's of uh, instrumental, an instrumental out of Reading, Pennsylvania on Grover, Barber, and Russ Golding's B label. A group called the Royal Rockers. I don't know anything else about the group. The Royal Rockers from February 1959. Song entitled Jet 11. That was the name of the tune. I've seen it on, uh, I saw pictures of this on the Orange B label. I have it on the Red label. I think the Red label is the first press. Then uh, after this, they became Orange. My Teen Kings, a rare 45 on that label's on Orange. But anyway, called Jet 11 to start off uh, tonight's show by the, Roy by the Royal Rockers. Well, enough of my babbling here. Let's open it up with a flip side from a couple of weeks ago. And it's by the Rodans. It's on Danny Robinson's Vest record label. I featured Time Is Passing a couple of weeks ago, a great tune. And let's give a listen to the flip side. It's going out to Daryl Letts, this one from late 1958, the Rodans on Vest. It's called Queenie B. <laughs> Oh, baby, baby, you my queen and be. Oh, baby, baby, you belong to me. Well, I love you and you love me. Let this love forever be. Oh, baby, baby, you my queen and be. Oh, baby, baby, you my heart's desire. Oh, baby, baby, set my soul on fire. When you kiss me, baby, When you kiss me, it feels so fine All oh, makes me lose my mind You my baby and I love you so I never let you go Oh baby, baby, you forever be Oh baby, baby, you belong to me Well I love you and you love me Then this love forever be Oh baby, baby going out to Daryl. He likes the up-tempo sides. So does a couple people. like They like the up-tempo sides. I do too. Queenie B is the name of that one. Late 1958, re the, re the release by the Rodans. I'm telling you, I think the Rodans are named after that, that Japanese movie with the uh, called Rodan, that flying bird. Anyway, that's what I say. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening. Here's another flip side of a rare 45 on the Imperial label by the Pelicans a group out of New Orleans, Louisiana. I featured the ballad side of this a couple weeks ago. A song entitled Chimes. Let's give a spin to the flip. A tune written by this side, also written by Imperial AR man David Bartholomew. This one from August 1954. Give a listen to the Pelicans on Imperial. It's called Ain't Gonna Do It. I'm going home. Yes, I'm going home Spend the rest
rest of my life Man with my wife Ain't roaming no more With Rose and Joe Don't drink no more Gonna save my dough Ain't ballin' no more We'll marry Joe Spend the rest of my life Man with my wife No, no, I ain't gonna do it 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 from August whoops that's from August 1954 they're they're called the Pelicans the Pelicans on the Imperial record label pretty rare 45 of those of you that have that on original I have that on a 78 a cool flexi 78 a promo copy but anyway the Pelicans there ain't gonna do it is the name of that one they would have another release on Imperial but as the kids k-i-d-d-s and they also have one on the post record label I have featured those here on the program as we continue here we are we stay in the year 1954 for this group from Queens New York they had six releases on Saul Robinowitz's baton label I'm featuring their third which is their hardest to find for you collectors out there you can find all their others this one is the hardest the song written by the lead singer his name is Gene Pearson and believe it or not what inspired Gene to write this was a horse according to Marv Goldberg uh, Gene was working as a golf caddy and one day uh, while waiting to go out on the links he was reading the race results and one of the horses was named Eternal Light and I, I guess it popped in his head right there uh, to come up with a a, a, a song a, a song right there with the word eternal so it's a horse that inspired this song hopefully it doesn't change your viewpoint of the song because it's a great tune let's give it a spin here september 1954 on the baton record label gene pearson on lead give a listen to the rivaliers it's called eternal love Yeah. 
September 1954 there for the Rivaliers. The Rivaliers, Gene Pearson on lead there. That's a song he wrote inspired by a racehorse, a racehorse called Eternal Light. Anyway, that tune called Eternal Love, that one there on the Baton record label. They were very popular here on the East Coast, but that one is the hardest one to find on the uh, Baton label by the Rivaliers. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening. We're spinning 1950s and early 60s. 45s out of my collection. We count down the music chronologically here. We move into 1955 now. This group out of St. Louis, Missouri. They're called the Rockers. The Rockers. I'm pretty sure this is the same group that recorded for the federal label but on federal they were managed by ike turner while uh, they were signed to federal now this release is prior to that this is on emmett carter's carter label i'm featuring the up-tempo side of this 45 we go to 1955 the rockers on carter and the song is called tell me why <laughs> Ooh, 
A group called the Rockers from 1955. It's on the Carter record label, actually Emmett Carter's label with the Emmett Carter combo backing them up there. The Rockers there with the up-tempo side, a song entitled Tell Me Why. The flip side's a nice cover of Count Every Star. That's not a cheapo 45. I think it was a bootleg too, so be careful you collectors out there for that one. Johnny G here spinning original vinyl 45s. We are in the year 1955. Now in the last 50 show, I played the A side of this Penguins release. Their fourth release on their fourth release on Dootsie Williams' Dootone label, song entitled "Baby Let's Make Some Love." It featured Dexter Tisby on lead uh, for that song. Now the B side features Curtis Williams. Let's give it a spin before I file it back down in the no humidity basement. Let's go back to April 1955. These are the Penguins. The Penguins on Dootone. It's called "Kiss a Fool." Goodbye. Curtis Williams on lead, April 1955. That's their fourth release. No, did I say that right? Did I say yes? That's their fourth release on Dootsie Williams' Dootone record label. Kiss a Fool Goodbye is the name of that one. That one there, Kiss That Record Goodbye, goes back down in the no humidity basement. Now, let's continue here. Now, on the last 50 show, I played my favorite Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers side. It was called Share, but let's give a listen to the intended A side, which charted nationally for the group. It was number 77 on Billboard, number 42 on Cashbox. It's their fourth release on George Goldner's G record label. This one from August of 1956. I guess we can call this a hit. No, not really a national hit, but a hit here in New York City on the G label. Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers with the ABCs of love. Do bop do boom 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 do bop do boom 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 boom. I always want to be.
sure many of you know that tune there by Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers there. That's on George Goldner's G Record label, August 1956. That was the hit side of the 45. Of course, my favorite is Cher, as I mentioned. Now, they're written by a, a Richard Barrett. Richard Barrett, who at the time was still at the Valentines, but it was Barrett who was instrumental with the success of the Teenagers. Actually, George Goldner did not want to record. He said, I'm not recording any kitty leads. No way. But then he, uh, I think that was some kind of deal that went on. If uh, I think Barrett had to do something with the five crowns or something on the on the uh, on the for George Golner, or kind of had to teach them or whatever. But uh, he said, "All right, I'll give him a try." And I think he said, well, "I want that that Frankie that." that little guy there to do lead. He's got the voice, and I think it was his best decision he ever made, Goldner, at the time. Anyway, Johnny G here spinning original vinyl 45s. Let's continue here. We continue with the flip sides. This time we head out to the West Coast to Johnny Otis's Dig record label. I played the A side uh, to this Tony Allen uh, 45, his second for Dig. It was called I Found an Angel uh, with a vocal group backing him up on that one, and let's give a listen to the flip side, and it's the song he wrote with the label owner Johnny Otis. This one from April 56. Give a listen to Tony Allen on the Dig label. It's called I'm Dreaming. <laughs> sides here on the vinyl treasure show too bad there is no vocal group on that side but uh, that was tony allen there april 1956 on the dig label featured it on the all maroon label which is the true first press although i think this comes out on ultra for no this was his second i'm sorry this was not his first his first comes out on ultra but anyway that's a song entitled i'm dreaming and uh Tony would re-record this song with a different arrangement 
arrangement and a vocal group uh, uh, four years, what, 56, 61, five years later, he would. It came out on the Kent label. It was also issued on an LP, I think a Crown LP, if I'm not mistaken. And they mention a group called the Night Owls on that LP. So let's give a listen to the 1961 re-recorded version. Let me know which one you like better. You can either type it in either one of the chat rooms or you can send me an email at Vinyl Treasures at AOL.com or tell me on Facebook if you're tuned in. Which one do you like better? The side I've just played, the first one from April of 1956 or this side from 1961? Looks like that they like that version better, the 1961 version. That is a Bob, a Bopper Boy, Warren, Matey, and uh, the uh, Daryl also. They say the group makes it better. Like I said, if they would have had a group on the first release, I think it would have been great, better, better, but uh, that's a cool version too. Song entitled Dream, and it kind of changed the title a little bit, but that's from 1961. Tony Allen there from 1961, and a group, I guess they're called the Night Owls, I don't know, but that one's on the Kent label. Also came out on an LP, I think on Crown Records, I think was the uh, the uh, LP. Anyway, Johnny G here for a Saturday evening. Let's continue. Let's uh, continue with the flip sides here. We stay on the West Coast for the Native Boys. A couple of weeks ago, I played the B-side to their third on Jake Porter's combo label. It was called Valley of Lovers. It featured George Labrune on lead. I messed that up last a couple weeks ago. I messed it up on my on my uh, typo here on my cheat sheet. But uh, let's flip it over. Give a listen to the intended A-side from March of 15. This side features Fred Romaine on lead, and he also wrote the tune. Let's give a listen to the Native Boys on the combo label, a song entitled Laughing Love. Mine, send the chills up and down the spine. Ooh, 
I taste so fine that how I know you're mine When I see your smiling face Oh, how I love this place And when I hold your hand that when I understand This is the way I want it Just you and me This is the way I want it Just you, you and me When I see you come my way Each and every day I know that you're the one that makes me feel this way Native Boys, the Native Boys there from uh, March of 1956, Fred Romaine on lead. Laughing Love is the name of that one, came out on Jake Porter's combo record label. That is their, uh, what did I say that was? That is, uh, as uh, Johnny G messes up again, that's their third release on the combo label. Yes, it is. As we continue here on the Vinyl Treader Show, let's stay in California. This time we go to Dick Huggy Boy Hugs Caddy label for the debut single by this group called The Dots. Now, the group included Jeanette Baker, Johnny Flamingo. I think they eventually married those two. Ray Brewster and Pete Smith. Now, Jeanette is doing lead on this song, which, uh, by the way, was covered by Paul Anka. Paul Anka sang this song on the RPM record label. But this is the original, this one from 1956. These are The Dots with Jeanette Baker on lead on the Caddy label, a song entitled I confess. There you go. There, those are the dots. Jeanette Baker and the dots. The 1956 
on the caddy label that is the a side of the 45 a song entitled i confess and paul lanka recorded that one too on the rpm record label let's continue yes a little bit uh she probably need to she her <laughs> she's a little bit off key there maybe is that what you said bob not the most on key record there you go absolutely johnny g here for a saturday evening let's continue here we move into 1957 i really like this song i was telling i was why i was telling you guys in the uh, youtube chat room there that i really like this tune on juggy murray sue label out of new york city it's the very first release on the sue label a sue number 700 by this group called the matadors is written by the lead singer his name is johnny garfield this one charted regionally actually this record did quite well on the east coast now this was their follow-up uh no actually what did i mess that up there this record did quite well i forgot to write down where it did well but anyway let's give it a spin here march 1957 these are the matadors on sue with their tune called vengeance you broke my heart the matadors the matadors there johnny garfield on lead he wrote that tune it's called vengeance parentheses will be mine yes that one there march 1957 it's on the sioux record label their follow-up is a great tune also was called be good to me that is an excellent tune too and uh check your copy on this because i have this two ways i have one that says 45 rpm to the left side another one that does not 
So I don't know which one is first. It's just maybe an oddball press. I don't know. Maybe, you know, different pressing plants for the Sioux record label. Anyway, Johnny G here spinning original bottle 45s. We continue here. And the next three songs are flip sides from a couple of weeks ago. Let's start it off here on Vivian Carter's VJ label for the Spaniels. I played their 13th release on VJ. It was called I Need Your Kisses, a cool up tempo. But the flip is a wonderful ballad written by the lead singer. Of course, that is Pookie Hudson. It's with Al Smith and the orchestra. Let's go back to September of 1957. Here are the Spaniels on the VJ label, a song entitled You're Gonna Cry. <laughs> Pookie Hudson and the Spaniels, September 1957 release. That is their 13th release for Vivian Carter's VJ record label, You're Gonna Cry is the name of that one. Hopefully you're not crying tuned into the Vinyl Treasure Show. Hope you're digging on these cool 45s. Let's continue now. Here's another B-side. Uh, actually, no, yeah, here's another B-side I featured a few weeks ago. No, that doesn't sound right what I wrote there, but I, I probably meant we are going to another B-side from a couple of weeks ago, as done by Billy Stewart, his only release on the OK label. I featured a killer ballad. It was called Baby, You're My Only Love. Yeah, that was the intended B-side. Let's give a listen to the A-side, which is kind of a takeoff of his debut 45 that came out on the Chess label. If you know the song, it was called Billy's Blues. Now, the OK release is called Billy's Heartache, very similar to that Billy's Blues sound. But let's give it a spin from November 1957, Billy Stewart on OK. It's called Billy's Heartache. Yeah, yeah, my love is one. When we were together, we had so much fun. Please come back to me, my heart is 
That's not a very long record there, but uh, to take off of his Billy's Blues, that's called Billy's Heartache. That one there from uh, from March, no, from November of 1957. It's on the OK record label. Billy's Heartache is the name of that one. The Marquis, the vocal group backing him up on that one. Marquis, I think Marvin Gaye, a member of that Marquis group. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. And uh, our third flip side is on Don, Don Barksdale's rhythm label. I played the A side of this. It's that was the debut single for Alice Jean and the Mondellos. The side was called a hundred years from today now alice jean wilton she was 15 years old at the time and uh, she wrote the b-side of the 45 so let's go to march of 1957 for alice jean with the mondellos on the rhythm label it's called come back home from March 1957, the first of four for 15-year-old Alice Jean with the Mondellos there on the rhythm label, Don Barksdale's Rhythm Records out of the uh, Bay Area, Oakland, San Francisco area there. Come Back Home is the name of that one. Not easy to find those rhythm recordings. Not really easy anyway. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening. Let's continue here. Have a number of requests for tonight's show. Here's one for California.
California listener, Métis Campboy. She requested Earl Lewis and the Channels as we go to Bobby Robinson's Whirling Disc record label. This is the B-side to their fourth release. I think it's their final release on Whirling Disc. For, so going out to Matey from July of 1957, Earl Lewis and the Channels, and their tune called Flames in My Heart. Well, my mind was being yeah, Quest for Mady Campboy. Those are the channels. Earl Lewis on lead there, July 1957. Flames in My Heart is the name of that one. Came out on the Whirling Disc record label. Daryl mentions that uh, uh, That's My Desire on the Gone label. He has it coming out before the Whirling Disc release. That's possible uh, that uh, they left. Uh, they had problems with. Uh, with Bobby Robinson, and uh, it wasn't really promoting their record, so they left. They signed with George Goldner, and maybe when they had their hit, or when they started, Goldner started releasing their uh, his uh, the Gone releases. That uh, Bobby Robinson decided to put out these records here. It's possible. I didn't go back to compare, but uh, anyway, that is possible. But that's a request for Mady Campway as we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Just heard the channels. Let's go to uh, another flip side from a couple of weeks ago. Now, in the last 50 show, I played a request for UK listener Eddie Votex. He requested the Travelers on the Andex label. I played the side called Teenage Machine Age, which was the second of four they did on, on the Andex label. Now, let's give a listen to the flip. It was written by their manager, J.W. Alexander. So let's go back to December of 1957 for the Travelers. It's on the Andex label, which is also the Keen label. They use the same numbering sequence, Bob Keen's Keen label and Andex. And the song, this song is called Why? Oh, 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 why do I love you so? 
why, darling, I like to know why do I love you so? Oh, why my heart hums this tune? Why? Angels guiding us everywhere we go, darling. And if they could, I believe they would. Tell me why I love you so. Oh, oh, oh. why you stay on? Angels guiding us everywhere we go, darling. And if they could, I believe they would. Tell me why I love you so. Oh, oh, oh. Why you stay on? Besides here on the Vinyl Trader Show, gospel flavor on that tune there by the Travelers, December 1957. It's called Why. It's on the Andex record label. Now, earlier in their career, they were strictly singing gospel. They were called the Pilgrim Travelers. Lou Rawls was a member of that Pilgrim Travelers group. Johnny G here, here spinning original vinyl 45s. We continue here. Got a request for listener Chuck Statton listening in Henderson, Nevada. He requested this group out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They're called the Fabulaires. They had one release that came out locally on the Philadelphia mainline record label and nationally on the East West label. I'm featuring it on East West. Got my promo copy here. Actually, I have this on stock and i have it on mainline but let's uh, give this one to send this one out to chuck it features paul green on lead december 1957 the fabulaires on east west it's called while walking <laughs>
our request for Chuck Statton. We got to say hello to Chuck in the YouTube chat room. Those are the Fabulaires. Fabulaires from December 1957. Paul Green, he's on lead. Featured it on the East West label. You, you collectors out there, you can also have it on Mainline. It came out in Philadelphia on the Mainline label, but nationally on East West. The song entitled While Walking. What a cool record that is as we continue here on the Vinyl Treader Show. Now, opened up the last 50s show with Dean Barlow and the Monterey's. A great tune they do. It's called Dearest One. Came out on Jerry Winston's Onyx label. Let's flip it over before I file it back down in the no humidity basement. This song, co-written by Ed Jordan, and he's doing lead on this one. We go back to July of 1957. These are the Monterey's with Ed Jordan on lead on the Onyx label. It's called Through the Years. <laughs> Monterey's that plays nice Brian plays better than my 25 cent copy but anyway those are the Monterey's Monterey's July 1957 on the Onyx label through the years is the name of that one Ed Jordan he is on lead now Ed Jordan also sang lead with the five delights if you know the tune there'll be no goodbye came out on the Newport and the Unart label also sang lead on that uh Oh, what's the other label on that? Oh, I can't think of the blue label. A-Bell, is that the other one that they do? That's a pretty rare record by the Five Delights on A-Bell. Anyway, Johnny G losing his mind here for a Saturday evening. You know, I did not have one piece of Halloween candy this Halloween. Not one. I'm not going to say I didn't have a cookie, but I did not have a piece of candy. I don't know why I said that, but I just did. Anyway, let's continue here. Let's continue with the flip sides from a couple of weeks ago. This time we go to Sid Nathan's Federal Label for the debut single by Faith Taylor and the Sweet Teens. She was just 11 years old at the time when she recorded this. Now, both sides of the 45 are up-tempo, and a couple weeks ago I played the side Won't Someone Tell Me Why?, 
and it was written by their group man the, the manager of the group his name is Charles Jones he also wrote the flip side so let's go back to August of 1958 now we move into 1958 it's on federal records Faith Taylor and the Sweet Teens and their tunes called well maybe this song it's called Your Candy Kisses <laughs> got me talking about candy the candy kisses no that's your candy kisses august 1958 11 year old faith taylor and the sweet teens there on the sid nathan's federal record label your candy kisses is the name of that one let's continue we are in 1958 this time a request for george tompkins it's he requested this rare 45 came out on george braxton's teen life label teen life records out of detroit michigan now george braxton also owned the fox label and the brax labels but uh he also owned a teen magazine it was called teen life and uh, he created a record label to go with it and he put out this 45 by a group called the serenaders as requested by mr george tompkins now this is not the same group that recorded on the red robin deluxe or swing time labels i featured that swing time release last week this is a total different group so going out to George Tompkins from 1958 these are the serenaders on the teen life label it's called gates of gold <laughs> Face to 
face And then I knew By request for George Tompkins, that's a rare 45 out of Detroit, Michigan, by a group called the Serenaders. The Serenaders from 1958, Gates of Gold is the name of that one. And uh, that's not an easy record to find by any means. Johnny G walking away from the microphone there for a second. But let's continue here. We uh, just heard the uh, Serenaders. That's a rare 45. Here's another rare 45 as we go to Los Angeles, California. And a request for listener Nat Papagallo listening in Naples, Florida. I was lucky to win this in an eBay auction by Les Docs. Sometimes he sells records out of his collection. Not not often. But I haven't seen him list records in a while. I haven't I haven't purchased well, I only purchased from one buyer on eBay now because of the uh, sales tax. I will not buy on eBay. Sorry, eBay. You lost my business. But anyway, he listed this record. I saw it there and I, I won it. I got it for a, a ridiculously low price too, but I got it out of his collection. But anyway, Nat Papagallo requested this. He's listening in Naples, Florida. It's on the Impala label. It was owned by Mabel Weathers, who managed a group called the Echoes. This Echo group recorded for the Combo label and the Specialty label. And and they are backing up this singer by the name of Sonny Roberts. Now, the song was written by Elmo Jones Jr., and he was a member of the Echoes. Let's go back to March of 1958. This is on the Impala label. It's Sonny Roberts and the Echoes. And uh, this is the original recording of this because the poets also did this. It's called I'll Never Let You Go.
Yeah, Nat, thank you for requesting that one there. Sonny Roberts and the Echoes, March 1958. It's on the Impala record label. A song entitled I'll Never Let You Go. That one there was covered by the Poets on the Shade label back in 1960. I think it was Métis that requested that Poets a while back. But that is the original. And uh, did you know that Darlene Love was a member of that Echoes group when they recorded on the Combo label? Yes, she was before she was a member of the Blossoms and recorded for the Capitol label. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening spinning original vinyl 45s. Nat, if you saw that one for $15, the bootleg, you should pick it up. I guess well worth $15, the bootleg, but the original goes for a lot more. Let's continue here. Speaking of Métis, she requested a song on uh, last week's Vinyl Treasure Show by the Royal Holidays. The group was out of Detroit, and uh, the side she requested was called I'm Sorry was a nice ballad but let's flip it over give a listen to the up tempo side before I file it back down in the no humidity base but this was written by Vernon Williams Vernon Williams who was also on lead this one from June of 1958 these are the royal holidays I'm featuring it on the first release the penthouse label and their tune is called Margaret Yaki saki yaki saki yak 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 Hey hey my you know I love you so I'll never let you go Yes I love you so June 1958, released there for the Royal Holidays, featured it on the first label, Penthouse Records. You collectors could get it on Joe Carlton's Carlton label, but that's a song entitled Margaret Vernon Williams on lead. They have uh, another one on uh, the Herald label, Down in Cuba, a pretty cool record. And Vernon Williams, of course, went on to join the Satin Tones on the Motown record label. Johnny G here spinning my original vinyl 45s. We are in the year 1958. Let's continue. Continue with the flip sides, this time on Don Carter's pet label for this group called the Capitals. They were from Brooklyn, New York. I played the up tempo side a couple weeks ago. It was called Cause I Love You. Now let's give a listen to the flip side. It's a nice ballad. It features Nathaniel Butch Epps on lead. Let's go to November of 1958. Give a listen to the Capitals. It's on the pet label. It's called Angel of Love. Cause you 
Capitals, the Capitals from November 1958. They don't make records like that anymore. Angel of Love is the name of that one. It's on the Pet label, Pet Records. Lots of some cool 45s on that Pet label for sure. As we continue here on the Vinyl Treaders show, back to the request this time for Chuck Statton. We head back to Philadelphia, PA, as the true first press of this for you collectors out there came out on the Atco label, but I'm featuring the more expensive press on Jocko Henderson and Barry Golder's mainline label, which uh, for you collectors out there, the true first press of this has to say, what is the address? 1510 Fairmount Avenue. So check your copy. If it doesn't say that, you actually have the second press. But anyway, um, this one is on the Mainline record label. It was only released in, locally in Philadelphia on Mainline, but Jocko Henderson and a Barry, Barry Golder... He uh, sold the master to Atco Records, but they wanted to retain the rights to press up the record locally in Philadelphia. So they said that was fine with them. It was kind of like the same deal as the Fabulaires that the local presses came out in, on Mainline, but the national releases came out on the Atco label. But anyway, it's a great two-sided 45, and it features, uh, co-written by the lead singer, his name is Eddie Custis. Eddie Custis, he's on lead. So this is going out to Chuck from February 58, The Superiors on Mainline. We'll give a listen to the up-tempo side this week, the ballad next week, The Superiors with Don't Say Goodbye. To play with you, my darling Can't you see You're breaking my heart Don't say goodbye For I must make you see That you mean more to me Than it be Well, the beat of my heart
can't you see you're breaking my heart? Thanks for thanks for requesting that one, Chuck. A cool tune there by the Superiors, February 1968, 1958, not 68, 58. Featured on the uh, local Philadelphia mainline record label. Some of you collectors may have it uh, on the Atco label, which was the true press, by the way. The Atco label came out in December of 1957. Uh, mainline released it in February of 1958. But that's a great request, Chuck. Thanks for requesting the superiors with Don't Say Goodbye. Don't Say Goodbye, not till 12 midnight tonight uh, or a little later. You know Johnny G always does some Vinyl Treasure overtime. Now remember, you're going to turn your clocks back. You're going to gain an hour's sleep tonight. And uh, that means Johnny G can be on a whole hour longer. That's right, more than three. No, I can't do that anyway. I'll get an extra hour sleep, that is for sure. But anyway, let's continue here. Up next, a request for Bopper Boy Warren for this group from Los Angeles, California, as we go back to uh, Bob Keen's Keen label. For Billy Storm and the Valiants, Warren requested their second release on the Keen label. Now, you know the group's biggest hit was a song called This Is The Night. And this was the follow-up. It's with Bumps, Black. Blackwell, Bumps, Blackwell, and the orchestra, and the great Billy Storm on lead by request for Warren, January 1958. These are the Valiants on Keen. It's called Lover, Lover. Oh, lover, lover, where are you tonight? The stars above her, above her. Quest for Warren the Valiants there, Billy Storm and the Valiants, January 1958. That's their second release on the Keen label, song entitled Lover, Lover. I featured it on the white promo Keen. You collectors out there, the uh, stock copies are like a kind of like a cool multicolor rainbow color like uh, 
a keen label. Anyway, Johnny G babbling on here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. Up next, a singer from Morganton, North Carolina. Initially, he was a member of a country group called Joe Franklin and the Mimosa Boys, and then they signed with the Mercury label and changed their name to the Highlighters in 1959. But but this singer, he left that group to go solo, and he be, his name was Daryl Petty, and he had this release on the Hornet label which I think is out of Westport. It's out of uh, yeah Westport, Connecticut, this Horton label. But there is a cool group backing them up, up on this one. They're uncredited, so I don't know who the backup group is, but they are pretty good. This one from November of 1959. Give a listen to Daryl Petty. Daryl Petty and a vocal group on the Hornet label. It's called Flaming Love. Ba 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 From November 1959, there, Daryl Petty and an uncredited group there on the Hornet label, the Hornet label record label. Song entitled Flaming Love. Johnny G here spinning flaming 45s as we continue now. Here's a request for Nat Papagala. We go back to Brooklyn, New York, as this group had two releases on Morris Levy's Roulette label. Now, the group included two members of the tokens jay siegel and hank medris in addition to warren schwartz and fred i can't read this here kalkenstein they were named after the oxford university they were called daryl and the oxford here's their first release as a request for nat it features jay siegel on lead this one charted number six on kfxm in san bernardino california going out to nat from august 59 it's daryl and the oxfords on roulette it's called picture in my wallet picture in Oh, uh-huh. 
Going out to Nat Papagallo, that's Daryl and the Oxfords for August 1959, released the first of two. On Morris Levy's roulette record label, Picture in My Wallet is the name of that one. I was paying for Barbara's dinner tonight. I took my wallet out, I had to pay with the credit card, so she must have saw these pictures in my wallet, so she started thumbing through these pictures, and I don't know if it's because she saw her picture, or she saw my nieces and nephews, I don't know, but anyway, that's what made me think about that that, uh, that record. Anyway, Johnny G here for a Saturday evening, let's continue here, next a group out of Cincinnati, Ohio, they had two releases on Jerry Herman's note label, and all four sides are great in my opinion, now Jerry worked out a deal with Leonard Chess to distribute them nationally on his checker label, so I'm featuring the B-side to their second release, first came out on the note label, which I have, and it goes for a lot of money on note records, but uh, I'm featuring the checker release and uh, this one came out originally on note in November of 59 but Checker re-released it in January of 62 it features Leroy King on lead and uh, this is a B-side let's go to November actually this came out originally November of 59 I'm featuring the 1962 press on the Checker label give a listen to the students and their tune called That's How I Feel song I first heard on the Gus Gossard show that's the b-side to my vow to you those are the students Leroy King and the students November originally from November of 1959 I featured the January 62 release on the checker label that's how I feel as we continue here on the vinyl treasure show let's go to Detroit Michigan for a request for Matey Campboy this is a very rare 45 on the Stardust record label now prior to this release uh, this group had uh, releases on the choral label but this is their final release on the detroit based stardust label it features alton hollowell on lead and it's by request for matey a very rare 45 this one from 1959 give a listen to the enchanters the enchanters on the stardust label it's called spellbound by the moon <laughs> Yeah. 
along by the moon That child boy Her home soon So you can love me Spilled on by the moon I'm so in love For Mady, those are the Enchanters. The Enchanters with Alton Hollowell on lead. 1959, Spellbound by the Moon. It's on the Stardust label. Now, the group was discovered by Duke Ellington. He was traveling through Detroit, Michigan. He heard them singing and he brought them over to the choral label. And the, but that was their last single on the local Stardust label, Rare 45 2. Johnny G here spinning original vinyl. Here's a great two sided girl group 45 on Donald Shaw's Neptune record label out of Newark, New Jersey. And on the last 50 show, I played the up tempo side. It was called Wait, Wait, Wait. Now, the flip's a great ballad. Both sides written by Joanne Garland, and she is the lead singer of this group called the Del Rios. This one from September 19. 19- 1959, the Del Rios on the Green Neptune label, a song entitled I'm Crying.
Well, Warren, glad to hear I turned you on to that Del Rio's uh, group there. That's a great two-sided 45. have to agree with Warren. Those are the Del Rio's. The Del Rio's from September 1959. Joanne Garland on lead. She wrote, she wrote that song. She wrote the flip side. That's called I'm Crying. It's on Neptune Records. Donald Shaw's Neptune record label out of Newark, New Jersey. Johnny G here spinning original vinyl 45s. We move into 1960 with another, another flip side from a couple weeks ago. I played a request for The Colonel by J.J. Jackson and the Jack was the B-side to their release on the Storm label out of Los Angeles, California. It was called A Lifetime From Today. So let's give a listen to the intended A-side, written by J.J. Jackson, a.k.a. June Jackson, a.k.a. Hank Blackman of Hank Blackman and the Killers on Brent. Now this charted regionally. This was number 33 on WOKY out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Brian, did you ever hear this one on the radio back in 1960 September 1960 for JJ Jackson and the Jackals on the Storm label this is the A side it's called that look in your eye <laughs> I see it, I see it, I see it In that look in your eyes I see a dream come true Walking by my side No more loneliness The turning of the tide I see it, I see it, I see it In that look in your eyes mm -hmm, yeah. Oh yeah, I see fulfillment No more misery I see desire I see it, I see it, I see it In that look in your eyes mm -hmm, yeah. Though your lips are never spoken One affectionate word Things you say with your pretty eyes Sweetest I've ever heard I see happiness A glimpse of paradise I see the wedding And people throwing rice I see it, I see it, I see it In that look in your eyes That look in your eyes I see it, I that see it Look in your eyes In your pretty that eyes Look in your eyes In your pretty eyes Look in your eyes That group is out of San Diego, California. J.J. Jackson and the Jackals. June Jackson, he's on lead there. September 1960, that's the intended A-side, that look in your eyes. The name of that one on the Storm record label. I could play, I should do a... Um, a theme show with I in the title. I think I can get some cool records with I in the title of those songs. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on the tunes. We are in the early 60s as we stay in California for another request from Mady Campway. Boy, she picks these rare records. Mady, you know all these rare 45s. This is one on Ray Dobard's Music City label out of Berkeley, California. It was written by the lead singer. Her name is Wanda Burt. She's on lead here. This is the second of three for a group called the Crescendos. It's on the Music City label by request for Mady. Let's go back to December of 1960. The Crescendos on Music City. It's called I Don't Mind. 
Quest for Mady Gimp. Boy, that's, those are the crescendos. Wanda Burton, the crescendos, December 1960 release. I Don't Mind is the name of that one. Came out on uh, Ray Dobard's Music City record label out of Berkeley, California. That's a rare 45. Mady, where are you getting these rare 45s? They're very expensive 45s. Johnny G here, spinning expensive 45s as we continue here. We continue with the request, this time for Bopper Boy Warren. Let's stay in Hollywood, California. It's on a label called Belmont uh, Belmont Records, located at 6269 Selma Avenue. Does anybody know where Selma Avenue is in Hollywood, California? And uh, Warren requested this group called The Veils. I don't know anything about The Veils. Charlene couldn't find anything. I didn't really get a chance to double check, but let's give it a spin by request for Warren. We go back to November of 1960. This is the intended A side on Belmont Records. These are The Veils with Buy Now pay later. Shut up, 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 shut up
on the dotted line. Shut, 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 shut. As by request for Bopper Boy War in November 1960, they're called The Veils. That's the intended A side. Came out on the Belmont record label out of Hollywood, California. Buy now, pay later is the name of that one. We had to ask Brian if he had to know. He does not have that 45. Brian, you got to go out and get that 45. John and G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. Up next, I have a twin spin. Twin spin going out to the Colonel for this group. From Jamaica, Queens, they were, uh, they're known as the Masters. Previously, they recorded as the Bell Tones on the Hull label. But then they signed uh, with the George Golner's N record label with one release. And also, their next release came out on Cecil Bowen's LeSage label. So I got a twin spin coming up consecutively, one record after the other. Uh, so these are going out to the Colonel. Both songs are written by the lead singer. His name is George Cotman. George Cotman is on lead up first it's from november 61 this one's on the end label it's called a man is not supposed to cry we're going to follow it up with the masters on lesage with a song called crying my heart out let's give a listen to the masters on the end label first a man is not supposed to cry if your girlfriend treat you oh so cruel and tells you that she is through with you you may wait you may play well but come on take time to think that uh, That good old daily news About a wedding in July You may, you may But come on, take time to think That a
It's a twin spin going out to the Colonel by the Masters. The Masters, we first heard them on the N label from November 61. A Man Is Not Supposed to Cry. Yes, Warren, agree with you. It's a great ballad there. And then they followed up with their next record. That's the intended B-side uh, t- on their Lesage single, Crying My Heart Out is the name of that one, On uh, from 1961. George Kopman, he wrote both songs, and he is doing lead. Johnny G's here in Vinyl Treasure Overtime as we continue here. And here is the second overall release on Slim Rose's Times Square record label, the first release uh, what came out by the Time Tones. This is the second uh, release by a group called The Summits, and it's a request for Chuck Staten. Chuck Staten requested this one here on Times Square Records from July of 61. Give a listen to The Summits. The Summits on Times Square. It's called Go Back Where You Came From.
by request for Chuck Stanton there. Those are the summits. The summits from July 1961. Go Back Where You Came From is the name of that one on uh, Slim Rose's Times Square record label. He had a radio show where he would promote his records. You can go into the Times Square record shop. You can buy them. He would have them on the wall, a little bit more expensive records now that I would love to buy for 6 and 8 and 15 and $10. They now go for a lot more money. But back in 1961, that was a lot of money to buy, spend on a 45 for sure. $15 for a 45. I think Val was selling the rare records for like $25 back then. Anyway, Johnny G babbling on here. But anyway, we can't go back, but we can only go forward. And Johnny G hopefully reviving your memories here. So let's continue here. We are in Vinyl Treasure Overtime. Cover tune up next and a request for Nat listening in Naples, Florida. This group is out of Columbus, Ohio. They first recorded as the Cordials back in 1960 on the Cordial label. But then they changed their name to the Carrions. And uh, they had a release on the Indigo and the Magenta labels. They were sister labels. I forget the guy's name. It was Lee, I think his last name, that owned the labels. But Nat requested the side on the Indigo that is a male version of the Chantel song, He's Gone. I know many of you are familiar with the Chantels, Arlene Smith and the Chantels, He's Gone. But how about a song in the male version? It would be called, what, She's Gone. And that's the title of this one, Going Out to Nat. It features Ronald Reiser on lead. This one from December of 61. Give a listen to the Carrions, the Carrions on Indigo with She's Gone. She Call that a cover tune? What do I call it? A cover tune or an an no, I can't call it an answer tune. It's got to be a cover tune, but the male version there. Going out to Nat from December of 61, the Carrions, the Carrions on the Indigo label, and their tune called She's Gone. Johnny G, not gone, not yet. Let's continue here, and we continue with the requests. Here's another one for Chuck, as this group is out of, uh, what is it? Chelsea Hurst, New Jersey, but they recorded for Joe Ricci's Darrow label out of Philadelphia, PA. They were known as Tyrone and the Newports. Now, the lead Tyrone is Tyrone Johnson. Initially, this record came out in September of 62 on the Darrow label, but for some reason, uh, 
De- uh, Joe Ricci, who owned the Darrow label, re-released it on his label called Pow Records and renamed the group The Mystery Men. Don't ask me why he did that. It's a mystery to me. But I decided to feature it uh, on that label, the Pow label, as The Mystery Men or The Mystery Men copy. Anyway, it's going out to Chuck. And uh, this one originally came out in September 62. This is from 63. It's The Mystery Men, a.k.a. Tyrone and the Newports with Feel like a million. It's going out to Chuck. Those are the mystery men, a.k.a. Tyrone and the Newports. That one sounds actually the the fidelity is better on that copy than the uh, the Darrow copy I have. Although originally it came out on Darrow Records. I think it's a maroon label, the true first price. It has multiple variations of that Darrow release through the years. But anyway, that's going out to Chuck. I featured it by the mystery men. Feel like a million on the Powell label. Johnny G here in Vinyl Treasure Overtime. This is next gal originally from Atesc- wait Atescadero Atescadero California where is Atescadero California but she's originally from there but she found success when she signed with Barry Gordy Jr's Motown Empire she had hits like Every Little Bit Hurts When I'm Gone and many others on the Tamla label in the mid 1960s but she started out recording in the early 60s for Bob Keen's Donna record label here's the first of 3 she recorded on Donna and it's a song she co-wrote let's go to February February 62 for Brenda Holloway, early Brenda Holloway here on the Donna label, and her tune is called Echo. There's an echo. echo.
goodness reconnected wow that my uh, osb stopped recording so that should be interesting how that works on the youtube anyway it's back up let's continue here we are in vinyl treasure overtime I played a request a couple of weeks ago on my 50s and early 60s show for nat papagallo by a group called the termites on the b label out of reading pennsylvania and uh featured the b side which was a ballad it was called give me your heart a great tune you know the intended a side is a cool up tempo and uh, the record was released in march of 64 but it sounds like it was recorded somewhere around 1962 or earlier and earlier we he heard from margaret a girl named uh, the song uh recorded by the royal holidays margaret well here's another girl's name her name is carrie lou let's give a listen to this one before it goes down in the no humidity basement released in march of 64 the termites on b it's called carrie lou Dip called the termites you hear those lyrics i dream of you every morning what is that life is but a dream the t this the, the words from life is but a dream that's what it's sad to call the lawyers on that one those are the termites march 1964 carrie lou is the name of that one came out on the b label out of reading pennsylvania johnny g here in vinyl treasure overtime as we continue here and on the last 50s and early 60s show played a request for george tompkins by the vital tones on the josie label it was the intended b side of the 45 called someone to love but george also requested the a side as did chuck Staten requested the a side of this too the first time i had two listeners request the same song Anyway, that is the first time it happened, but it's a great tune here. This one charted regionally, was number six on WHYN in Springfield, Massachusetts. Let's go back to August of 1962. We'll send this one out to Chuck and George, the vital tones here on Josie, and their tune called Forever. Forever. Love you. 
That's a very cool record there by the Vital Tones going out to George and Chuck. August 62 on the Josie label there. Song entitled Forever. Great tune there on uh, that one there. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening. We continue in Vinyl Treasure Overtime. Here's the second of two by a group called The Valiants. The Valiants on the Imperial label. The, uh, the members of the group are Earl Terry, Henry Samples, Robert Carter, Terry Jones, and Valcor Eugene. This one here from February of 63. Let's give it a spin. The Valiance on Imperial. It's called I'm in a World of My Own. You told me that you love me That you never leave me Now that you've gone I'm in a world of my own I'm in a world of my own I can't seem to carry on Since you've been gone Darling, my heart is a game with pain and sad. Don't you know I'm a lonely guy? Lonely guy. I wonder why did you say goodbye and leave me here alone? I'm in a world of my own. Darling, my heart is aching with pain and child. Don't you know I'm a lonely guy? I wonder why did you say goodbye and leave me here alone? I'm in a world of my own. That's a pretty cold ending there. Those are the Valiants. The Valiants from February 1963. De definitely not Billy Storm and the Valiants. This is a totally different Valiants group. The second of two on the Imperial label. A song entitled, I'm in a world of my own. Johnny G is in a world of his own every Saturday from 10 to midnight right here. We are in Vinyl Treasure Overtime. Maybe four more 45s to go or less as we continue here. And up next, a group out of Atlanta, Georgia. They recorded... Uh, for the uh, Atlanta-based TPE label, not much known about them, but all their songs were written by L Levi Moon. And this is their debut single, and it's the easiest of all their singles to find on the TPE record label. It's the first of four on TPE. It's from 1962. Give a listen to the Invictors, the Invictors on TPE. It's called uh, This Thing Called Love. This thing called love I can't understand With you I should have known I never Stand a chance that I was Joe and James. My heart couldn't stand the pain, so I cried. Yes, turn it down to love another. You can imagine how I felt when I found out he was. Stand the pain, 
so I cry. I cry, I cry, I cry, I cry, I cry, I cry, oh you hurt me so bad, the pain in my heart was to mend I can't understand how you can mean so much to me when there is Joe and James. My heart couldn't stand the pain, so I cried. That's the first of four for the Invictors. The Invictors, that's 1962. This thing called Love came out on the on the TPE record label. That's their first of four on TPE. Now, their rarest release they do is uh, the one on Hale Records. It's by the new Invictors. That is a rare record uh, on Hale that I have featured here on the program. Johnny G's in Vinyl Treasure Overtime. Let's see, I got a request to do for Mady, and then probably one more, so three more 45s to go before Johnny G signs off here. And uh, this uh, artist goes by the name of Tony Valor. I can't find any info on this artist, but it came out on Andy Leonetti's Music Tone label out of New York City. It's from 1963. Let's give it a spin here. Tony Valor, V-A-L-O-R. It's on Music Tone Records. The song is called There's a Story in my heart. There's a story in my heart of a love that had its start. She's the one that I love, but she's the one sent from above. From 1963, Tony Valor and an uncredited group. Don't know who the group is. It's on the Music Tone label. The song entitled, There's a Story in My Heart. That's the name of that one. Two more 45s to go here before we sign off here. Here's a request, final request for Mady Campboy for this group from Brooklyn, New York. They had releases on the Acme label in 62, then releases on the Pawn and the Midas label, uh, all, which was owned and produced by Eddie Singleton. Now, this group, uh, Mady requested a group called the Toriadors, and uh, 
Prior to this, they recorded as the Matadors, the Matadors on Keith. They had two releases in 62 and 63, also produced by Eddie Singleton on the Keith label. But this is on the Midas label. This is by request for Matey from 1963, the Toreadors on Midas. It's called Do You Remember? This is part one. As by request from Mady Campoy, sort of like uh, those oldies but goodies remind me of you. That is the theme there. A group called the Toreadors. The Toreadors there from 1963. It's on the Midas label. Harry Bass on lead for that one. And a uh, song entitled Do You Remember Part 1. I think the flip side are more up-tempo sides on the flip, according to Daryl. Yes, it is. But anyway, that's going to do it for Johnny G and the Vinyl Treader Show. I want to thank you for joining Johnny G listening to original Vinyl 45s out of my collection. You want to get in touch with Johnny G, send me an email at vinyltreasures at AOL. Com. Thank you, folks, for your requests as I uh, build the show around your requests now because lots of cool records are being requested. I have them. Sometimes I just don't think of them. I don't get a chance to go and pull them out. I just, whatever comes in my head, sometimes I say, I want to hear this, I want to hear that. But I have so many records that I haven't yet featured here on the show. So send me your requests. If I can find them in time, I will feature them. If I eventually do find them or buy them. But anyway, those of you tonight, I've played a lot of your requests. So thank you for sticking around and tuning into the show. But uh, we're going to close the show tonight. 
tonight. Uh, actually, this is interesting. The closer tonight is from 1968, believe it or not. Um, it's a, a nice harmony sound of the early 60s, though. And actually, this was a request for George Tompkins. He requested this a, a while back, I guess with the close of baseball season with the Nationals winning the uh, winning the World Series, which was amazing, by the way. Um, this kind of this song is actually kind of fits the the narrative with that, so to speak. But it's a request for George Tompkins. It's by Rich Allen and the Ebonistics. Now, uh, Rich is from Wampum, Pennsylvania, and he was a professional baseball player for 15 years, beginning in 1960, first with the Philadelphia Phillies. But he played with four other teams, and in 1968, he recorded this song on the Groovy Grooves label out of Philadelphia. And uh, I, at the time, I was going to play this a, a, a few weeks back. It was appropriate for the fall because I was going to play it when with the first day of fall. But it's going out to George Tompkins. And uh, again, we are finished with the baseball season. And uh, it's a pretty cool record because I remember buying it so many years ago. In the late 70s, I went to a, a Montvale, New Jersey record show and the guy had a bunch of copies of this. And they were cheap. They were like a couple bucks. So I purchased a copy. So our closer tonight is from 1968 going out to George Tompkins. It's Rich Allen and the Ebonistics on the on the uh, groovy uh, on the on the groovy grooves label it's called echoes of november that's going to do it folks hope you enjoyed the tunes tonight tune in tomorrow evening for my buddy dave the raven his relics and rarities show it all begins at nine o'clock here on top shelf oldies nine to midnight for dave and all the shows here on top shelf oldies during the week we've got a wide variety of shows and tastes in music so you got to tune in to top shelf oldies very cool cool sounds you'll hear different eclectic sounds too anyway that's gonna do it i'm your i play only originals the other guys they play mp3s and originals they tape their shows and they're live but i'm live all live so that's gonna do it folks thank you charlene again for all your help and all the pressure i put you under as i had a very busy week and whatnot but anyway i'll be back next saturday starting at 10 p.m with more records out of my collection so tune in next saturday from 10 to midnight right here on top shelf foley's have a safe and happy week i'll see you next week folks take care just want to say everybody so long
Okay, folks. I didn't show you the other two records. Thanks for sticking around, because really, I've been here for almost, not quite three hours, but almost three hours. But anyway, here is the uh, Toreadors on the Midas label that Mady requested. It's, uh, they were the Matadors, the Matadors on Keith. It's part one. So Daryl says the other side, I didn't listen to part two, but I'll play it. Maybe I'll play part two next week. But anyway, that's it's out of New York City. Eddie Singleton's label, this is. And uh, this other one is from 68. It's out of Philadelphia. I mean, you could even tell by looking. It looks like a, it looks like a Lost Night pressing, like Lost Night Records press this. But it's by Rich Allen and the Ebonistics, Echo of November. And that goes out to George Tompkins. Thank you, George, for your requests. And send me more. If I find them, I will feature them here on the show. I haven't been buying many records, but I have been buying some, Brian. been buying some. But anyway, folks, thanks again for sticking around. I enjoy bringing you the tunes every Saturday from 10 to midnight. I will be back next Saturday with more cool records out of my collection. So, uh, everybody, so I'll see you next week. Again, as I said, have a safe week. And... Uh, and it's going to be cool. Actually, it might warm up on Monday a little bit, but anyway. But we're getting cold now, so so long, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>